The Reading Recovery Programme has been proven to help those pupils in years one and two that struggle with reading and writing. It helped me read for my reading tests and helped me read for like everyday life and if I didn't do it then I couldn't do that now. Only a handful of pupils can be in the programme at any one time and it involves an intensive one-to-one -one session with a specially trained teacher. It runs daily for up to 20 weeks. At the end of that period, 80% of pupils will have reached the same literacy level as their class peers. When I went back to the classroom, the different difference was that I would, I would feel more confident reading to the teachers. You learn what to do, learn things you don't really know and that's what's fun. It works, but it is costly, up to £2,500 per pupil. What does that say? Is this value for money? And can reading recovery play a role in wider aspects of literacy within a school? It's hard to imagine where we'd be if we hadn't had reading recovery, because the impact has been, quite, has been so profound, and profound not just for the individual children who've been part of the programme, but profound for everyone who's worked in the school. Guildford Grove Primary in Surrey is situated in an area of high social deprivation, with over a third of pupils on free school dinners. Many of our children come into school with a high level of need, particularly with speech and language needs. Um, they come from backgrounds where many of them don't have experiences of reading, they don't have experiences of books. And so we've got a, got a lot of ground to make up quite quickly. Seven years ago, Guildford Grove was struggling. Reading recovery has been an important factor in turning the school around. In my last school, we had a reading recovery teacher and so I came with that experience and the understanding of the impact that it could have, not only for the children, but also on the whole school. I like trains. And you knew like, because we had like over there, didn't we? I was so convinced that the outcomes for children would be significantly enhanced by having the programme at school, that I was determined to find money in the budget uh, to pay for it. What's your story about that you're reading in class? Oh, that's a... Orange. You're reading orange, are you? Sit here. Mary Lawrence has been a reading recovery teacher for almost 10 years and has seen her role develop within the school. If you have a reading recovery teacher on your staff and she's only um, affecting the four people that she's teaching, that then you're really not using her skills to the full. And I think there you've got a highly trained, skilled teacher who's um, done extra training concerning literacy. So it's a waste of her skills, really. So, you know, why not tap into those skills and have the whole school benefit? It was... It had been... To ensure those skills aren't wasted and are shared with both current staff and new arrivals to the school, every teacher and NQT has the opportunity to watch a reading recovery lesson. Inside... By watching the reading recovery teacher, they're watching higher order teaching skills. They're watching intervening at the point of learning. She said, said elephant. Well, then, and through that observation, we think they, they start taking that back into their classrooms and they start using that skill when they're working one-to-ones or in small groups with the children in their class. To save their toys. What? Well done. Get your reading finger, what does that say? Uh, 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 the other. other. The other children are working in the class. Other. You Just watching him break down, like breaking down the word other and seeing yeah. how he broke it down. There are times when he'll say to me, oh, I can't read that or I don't know, yeah. you know, when actually I can see now that actually he can do a lot more than he's, yeah. he's letting on. Because you know that TH says the, and you know that ER says uh. So when we put them together, this is the tricky bit, isn't it? Because it's other. We don't say o oh or o. Oh. We say other. You don't often get to observe your own children in your class. Um, so it was really helpful to kind of see Liam 
doing something that he's enjoying and, and being quite confident. And even picking up the phrases of, you know, well fixed um, and sort of seeing him do that and just, just, mm. you're, just modelling it really is very helpful, actually. And what does that say? Yeah, that's right. OK, well done. That's why I sometimes get glitter fingers. I see it as essential because the whole point of the read and recovery is it's a short, accelerated programme. And what you want is the children to transfer those skills back into the classroom mm. setting. So it's essential. So it means that the teacher's on the same page. There's a word there you might want to fix. You read, Jamie, the pavement. The school understood early on the value of getting parents involved and they are also offered the chance to watch their child during a lesson. After the seagull. Well done. There's less and less guessing. Yes. And he's looking accurately. He's, yes, yeah. he's actually trying. Yeah, yeah. That's lovely. One of the phrases I use that you can use at home if he finds a, a word a bit tricky, what we say is get your lips ready for the first sounds. And you hear me saying that. Right. And he knows that. How did you know that wasn't come? It is can. How did you know? You read come and then you carried on. And then I saw you think and you went back and you fixed it. How did you know it wasn't come? Because after the car, it's an or. It is. And you thought, no, that doesn't look right for come, doesn't it? That's what good readers do. They begin to look and check. And you fixed it for yourself because you went back and you thought, no, that isn't come. That's what I like to see. Well done. So, Jamie, that was really, really good. What I'd like you to do is while Mummy's cooking the tea tonight, you can make your sentence and then you can read it to her and you can tell her that together we're learning the word they, can't you? Yeah. OK, that would be a nice thing to do. Well done. It's very useful, I feel, to watch the lesson because you can then reinforce that at home and carry on with their methods at home as opposed to teaching them two different ways. <laughs> Well done, yeah, Reese. You don't need your book, sweetheart. You were going to do something. At some that. point, most teachers in the school will have had pupils leaving their classes to attend intensive literacy sessions. The only downside would be that for half an hour every day, you have a child that has to leave the classroom. And if that's during a literacy or a numeracy lesson and you're covering key concepts, when they come back, you have to provide the one to one time with them. But if you have a reading recovery teacher, like Mrs Lawrence, who's very accommodating, there's, there's always ways around it. Look at the book, the Good. song is ready. Got I think it's important to work with the class teachers. And from the word go, I explain to them that I will move the times of the child's lesson so they won't miss literacy every time, they won't miss maths every time. There are also great rewards for the class teacher if one of their pupils attends reading recovery lessons. In the classroom, Adele became very much more confident, didn't you, Adele? Yeah. And she took a lot more pleasure in, in reading. And, um, and it was lovely to see this excited little girl with a big smile on her face come into the classroom and showing me what she'd done and what she could now read. I think it has a knock-on effect throughout the curriculum that they are more confident, they feel that they can access other learning because it's, it's a kind of mindset, well, I've been successful at that, so maybe I can do this. And so their whole confidence level and therefore their self-esteem is raised. Last year she made four sub-levels, which is far beyond that of any other child in the class. So the Reading Recovery Programme really does work. How did you feel before reading recovery? How did you feel about reading? Um, I felt very reading hard. And what about after? How did you feel about reading after the programme? I felt fine with my reading. I think the criticism that's expensive is um, lacking vision, really, because one thing that is very obvious, if these children are successful, and 80% at least will be, they're not going to need the support and the intervention as they go up through the school. The school's focus on reading has mushroomed, and now on top of the literacy hour, they have an additional daily half hour of group reading in every class. It's up to the teacher to decide the most effective use of time and levels to work at for each group. The school decided to take things even further and has devised a number of other literacy interventions using reading recovery as their starting point. About uh, three years ago, we also started to think about taking the principles of reading recovery into the junior department in the school. 
and we looked at developing an, a reading intervention programme that would support readers who are still, say, struggling a little bit in the lower part of the juniors. And the reading recovery teacher developed a programme which could be taught by a teaching assistant that she trained. There were problems to be solved, though, not least where was their free space to run the group classes? It's finding that little space, either at the end of a corridor, in a corridor. Um, you could have it, I guess, in the corner of a, you know, a library area if it was worked. It's just finding what works for you. D, D W, w Z. Z. Other group programmes, sometimes using class teachers, are also used to help Key Stage 2 pupils catch up. This is a phonics session. A. Oi, well done, Ahmed. We pick the children who are kind of on the cusp. So, so children who have their sounds but just need a little bit more, a little bit more of a push to get them over that hurdle. Let's write it in the air first of all with our fingers. Get out your magic fingers. OK, and let's write there. It works very well. Um, a lot of what, what we do is actually building on confidence as well. So children who work in smaller groups tend to gain confidence at a much faster rate. And you see it being applied in lessons, in their literacy lessons, in their writing, um, in the classroom, far quicker. And hold it up on your fingers. Monitoring and assessment of these programmes is key. And that assessment is done in an ongoing way by the teaching assistant who's teaching the programme, monitored really closely by the reading recovery teacher so that we know the assessments are accurate and give us an accurate picture of the progress each individual child is making. We have had to tweak it. We've looked at what works and changed the components slightly according to the needs of the children, but the basic framework has stayed the same. Mary also keeps a close eye on the reading recovery pupils once they leave the programme. In fact, twice yearly, she monitors the literacy skills of every pupil at the school. If the classrooms are located near my room, they would come here. I will just camp in a corridor or find a, a little table and chairs nearby, wherever the children are really, to make it a very fast and easy. It makes it a very doable assessment. And so what are you reading at the moment? Uh, I'm reading, I think it's The Golden Bird. You're doing so well, aren't you? We have a little chat and they say, oh, I've got better, Mrs Lawrence, and then they can do better in the assessment. So it's rewarding from my point of view. I would say to my colleagues, if you have the chance of reading recovery, take it, because it helps change the life chances of children. It's helped change our school. It's helped change the aspirations of our parents for their children. It's made a huge difference. Mm -hmm.